YouTube, Chuk and Shub here with a review of the Power Ranger Super Mega Force Legendary Ranger Key Pack Series 2. And this set of seven packs of three keys uh, feature the Mighty Morphin Rangers, the Zeo Rangers, the Turbo Rangers, the Space Rangers, the Time Force Rangers, the Ninja Storm Rangers, the Wind Rangers actually, and the SPD Rangers. So, uh, let's go ahead and without further ado, uh, go ahead and take a look. Um, for those of you that didn't watch my last video on the Legendary Ranger Key Packs, they are available for $7.99 at Toys R Us and Kmart, and then $8.99 at Target, and as far as I know, still haven't been seen at U.S. Walmarts yet, but I would imagine they'd be $8.96 or whatever with the weird Walmart pricing. But with Morphin Madness going on, there is a coupon for... Buy or get a free Legendary Ranger Key Pack with the purchase of any other Super Mega Force item. So you can essentially get buy one, get one free with these, uh, which makes them a little bit better deal because otherwise the $7.99 to $8.99, and they're $9.99 on Amazon uh, for the three keys is a little bit iffy. But uh, let's go ahead and without further ado, we'll start with SPD, work our way back and uh, take a look. Now I'm using my turntable for this because a lot of these have a very common uh, QC flaw with these, uh, and I don't think um, SPD Red kind of has it. Um, if you can see here, the key is straight, the legs aren't, it's not latching all the way. Uh, it should be flush against just like this, but it's not, which causes them to kind of be all wibbly wobbly. And since I'm using a cloth as a um, brace on the table, it uh, doesn't quite want to stand, so <clears throat> that is why I'm using the turntable because they can actually stand on that. But here is SPD Red. Here's the one that came with the Delta Runner Zord. They are very much almost the same. Very few differences whatsoever on this one. Besides, he looks to be a little bit darker of a red. Um, but other than that, uh, pretty much the same. The uh, white outline on the 1 and the 2 is not present. It is on the 3. I don't know. Maybe they favor bridge. I don't blame them. I favor bridge too. But uh, that's really, really obnoxious. And I, I don't know why they couldn't give it to all 3. Um, the original release of Decca Red in the Japanese toy line had the same issue, but they were corrected when they released the Decca Ranger key set. So I don't know what their deal is. Um, it's not too difficult to go over it in a uh, like a whiteout pen or a white paint sharpie or anything like that, but it won't look nearly as good as green does. So let's go ahead and check out their sounds in the legendary morpher. If I can get the key in. The second key turn on all of these teams will be the communicator sound, so I'm not going to bother any more with that. And uh, the other two feature the SPD phrase in there as well. I don't know why he's having such a hard time in there. But uh, the, the green, I really like uh, uh, SPD green. I just really like the way that he ended up looking with the proper white outline and everything. Blue leaves a lot to be desired since you can barely even make out that it's supposed to be a two. Uh, without that uh, white outline in there. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. But as always, the head sculpts are pretty nice on these. And there are the logos on both of those. So now on to the Wind Rangers from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Um, it's the same flaws with these that uh, the Japanese keys had. The fact that they lose the, um, the mail plating, the chain mail kind of design that was on the arms for the guys and the arms and legs for uh, Tori. So that being said, uh, outside of that, I actually really dig them. Um, They're very colorful iterations of the Wind Rangers. But uh, as always, the helmets did turn out really nice. The emblems on their chest are nice as well. So not too bad at all. There is the logo for Ninja Storm Red.
There we go on that. And here is a look at blue and yellow Wind Rangers from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Pretty nice. And since we just got figure arts of these guys, um, they're kind of on my top list. Plus, I did really enjoy Ninja Storm, so can't complain all too much. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the Time Force Rangers. Time Force was a favorite of mine, and I do really enjoy Jen's character, so I'm a little upset that we're not getting a key of her at retail. Um, but regardless, I really do love Time Force. Uh, you can kind of make out the different designs on their chest here, the triangle, the whatever he is, and the diamond squarish shape that he's got going on. Uh, so that's kind of neat that they somewhat paid attention to that. Helmets are all right. Uh, some of them are a little bit off, but given how small they are, things like that happen. Here's a look at the two Time Force Reds. Not a whole lot of uh, difference in the helmets, but on the chest here you can see that the triangle is a lot bigger on the one that came with uh, the Cycle toy, as opposed to the one in the key pack. But still pretty cool. Flip that up. There is the Time Force logo in there that's just turned into a square and such. That's interesting. So without further ado, hooray! And here's a look at blue and green. Time Force Rangers. Gauntlets are present, which is always nice that they didn't miss out on those. Something that was really nice about the uh, SPD ones, too, that they paid attention to the fact that their arms were two different colors. So, pretty cool. Now, moving on to one of my favorite seasons of Power Rangers Power Rangers in Space. Space Rangers were cool, carried over some cool characters from Turbo. Andros wasn't bad. Andros, 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 Andros is from Star Fox. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the only flaw on these keys is the same flaw as with the Japanese ones, is the fact that the little rectangular colors aren't present. It's just a white line, which I thought was always kind of a bit of a drag. But um, detail-wise, helmets are still good. They got the white line at least. I guess I really shouldn't give them props for that, but... Space logo, right there. M-E-G-A. Mega. In space. <laughs> I understand that's what the show is called, Power Rangers in Space, but it's still hysterical to hear, like, the Gosei Morpher and the Legendary Morpher. Um, just yell out in space. In fact, it happened on Samurai Surprise in um, Super Mega Force. Gia just yelled in space, and I thought it was funny. I don't know why. It's just such a weird thing to say. But uh, here is TJ and Carlos. Like I said, very, very plain. I, I really wish they would have had those rectangles in there. But there you go. Moving right along to Turbo. And here we go. So, uh, not too bad on these. In fact, given how much decor is on the helmets for Turbo with all the lines and everything, they actually did a really nice job and all the upper windshield portions of their helmets are all done really well as well. Lots of wells here. Uh, so without further ado, let's flip up TJ or Tommy. I just prefer TJ because the second cast struck me more with Turbo. So there's a little Hazard-esque logo there. The way that the Morpher says Turbo is what I interpret most of the fandom reaction to Turbo was. Oh, Turbo. Yeah. And here is Justin and Carlos and or Adam. Uh, I actually really liked Justin, despite what uh, the current fandom debate is on him. Um, I was a kid at the time, so having a kid ranger was really cool to me. And um, I'll never forget that aspect of his character, so that's where I stand on the subject. 
There's the other ends. And now on to Zio. Now in a strange twist of fate, the Zio pack actually includes Tanya instead of Adam. Um, now, ignoring the whole sexism debate that's going on, which annoys me to no end, it, it kind of throws the entire balance of these key packs off by including the yellow instead of the green, outside of the exceptions where there wasn't one. Sans the Six Ranger, but that's a different pack altogether. That doesn't exist. But anyway, uh, it was just really weird. I They could go one, two, three, but he's five. So I don't really know what they were going for or what logic um, they were going for. If you noticed on Tori, when we looked at her, there's actually no skirt present on any Ranger key. Um, so the two females that we currently have both don't have skirts. So Bandai just don't care about skirts. Or they thought that Yellow Zeo was a dude. Maybe they thought it was actually Billy. I don't know. And here is the two Zeo keys next to each other. The one that comes with the Zord is actually a much more accurate uh, kind of swoosh design on the chest compared to this like slightly kind of cleavage-esque design going on here. So I don't really know what they were doing over here, but the one with the uh, Zeo Racer Zord ends up looking quite a bit better in my opinion. But <laughs> without further ado, uh, no inner designs on there. I don't think the Japanese ones did either. The shapes on the helmet are accurately represented. The gauntlets are as well as are the boots. So not too bad. I'm not expecting full detail inside these little chest pieces anyway. So overall, not too bad. There is the Zia logo in there. Man, he sounds so bored. <laughs> but regardless, let's uh, toss Tommy aside because who needs him? And here is Rocky and Tanya. Like I said, the shapes are done really well on the helmets, but uh, given they are rather more plain helmets, uh, that's not a whole lot to mess up on. And the inner stickers in there. And last but not least, Mighty Morphin. Here we go. So here is the Mighty Morphin key from the Legendary Morpher. Pretty much identical. His visor is a little bit thinner. That's really about it. The diamonds are a little bit whiter on that one. But uh, overall, not too bad. Helmet detail is still very good on these. It's got that issue that I've been talking about. As with most of the keys on here. There is the tribal coin in there. And now we'll take a look at Billy and Zach and or Adam. I uh, love the helmets on these. They did a really good job on black in particular. Um, all the lines are there. The silver is there. They just did a really, really good job. Billy's not too bad, but his horns are a little bit messed up on mine. But uh, they did a really good job on the Black Ranger here. Flip those up. Tribal coin in there. So overall, just a really good job. Without further ado, let's check these out in the scanner app.
As you can see, my Time Force green key is miscut on the sticker and half the QR code is gone. But uh, thanks to Ranger Crew's website, I scanned to theirs and here we go. So overall there really just isn't too much to add that hasn't already been said in the last Ranger Key Pack review. The fact that we're only getting three keys instead of five for the price is a little bit of a bummer, but the spring-loaded gimmick is fun, but causes one of the biggest QC problems in the entire line with the legs not locking or the legs just not lining up properly and it ends up being more of a mess than it's really worth in some cases. But uh, overall, they do look nice, and uh, with the Morphin Madness coupon going around right now, uh, the buy one, get one is definitely worth the price in the end. So I would definitely pick up the teams that you like, or at least three members of the teams that you like, and uh, go from there. But overall, if you're only looking to unlock the sounds in the Morpher, then buying the individual keys from the Roleplay Toys and the Zords is probably a lot more fun route than it is buying these packs. Um, plus with supposed individual release keys coming up at some retail outlets, we don't really know a whole lot about that yet. It might be worth waiting to see what happens with that. So thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.